Okay, we're gonna start in a minute. I just have to run upstairs real quick and get my daughter's uh, monitor right downstairs. I will be right back. All right. Hello. I'm back. This is a weird song. Staticky. <laughs> Thumb down that one. Oh well. Anyways, we are back tonight playing more Aviary Tourney. Uh, things are weird. We're not all monitored up. It should still have the same settings from last time. So, fingers crossed. Um, yeah, things are getting weird. With uh, a very attorney, I'm not really solving crimes anymore. I'm doing fetch quests, and I'm probably going to be put on trial at some point for being some assassin from twenty something years ago. I don't even know how that works. Eighteen years, I guess. Um, because I have no idea how old my character is, if that's the case. Whatever. Get this thing started. I haven't even seen that character. Oh my god, I haven't even seen that character yet. Uh, so what was this, upper left? Hey, wait a minute. This, this actually did full screen. It did full screen all on its own. This game. Okay. 
It did full screen. I'm still capturing my desktop, though. I don't trust it. Like, let's see. Game capture? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, okay, so what did we just do? We went to Notre Dame, and we found out something to do with Etam. Etam? The Caves of Etam. Um, but we don't know what the hell that means yet. Um, so if I was going to do something with the uh, Caves of Etam, probably the, the, uh, what the hell is it called? The library? Seems like a good place to do some research. I think. I don't know how else we're going to know about something that happened long ago. Um, so yeah, let's go with that. Time to hit the books, am I right? Uh, looking for the croque monsieur the recipes? I guess that would be in the cooking section. We aren't here for recipes, Ferrison. The librarian fellow seems pretty intelligent. If there's something overlooked, you would know. Oh, what was this douche's voice again? It was kind of like this, wasn't it? Kind of... Buh, 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 buh. Nathan. Would you mind lowering your voices? You're disturbing me during my daily crossword. Oh yeah, right. It was kind of not quite comic book guy. Well, I should have known it's the two harlequins. Okay, bud. Good to see you too, monsieur. We have some questions. Of course you do. Fine, let's get this over with so I can get back to my puzzle. What can you tell us about an uprising? An uprising? Would you care to be more specific? A Paris uprising. You two can't be serious. You want me to talk about every rebellion, revolution, or vote that Paris has been through? We'd be here all night. What about an uprising that hasn't happened yet? A uh, future uprising? Uh, I read the newspapers, messieurs. The government tries to strangle the media, but the truth shines through the gaps of censorship. The citizens' contempt for our current leaders is blatant. A future revolt is a very real possibility. That's all I know. Hey. Oh, have you heard of this dude? The sandwich? Of course I've heard of it. No, I mean a person with that name. No, it doesn't ring any bells. I'm familiar with the Earl of Sandwich, if that's any help. Hey, you can become an Earl of Food now? Uh, I'm in the wrong profession. Never mind, we'll try something else. Uh, okay, great, that was a waste of my time. I don't know why I can't research something like that, but cool. Waste of a day. Okay. Um, uh, doing that yet. That's the cop out option. The bridge I can get to the fishing line. The librarian is kind of an ass. Girl, watch. Um, and the Louvre I think has the uh, copper pot or whatever. Um, I don't know, maybe we go to Fox and Mouse and Associates? <sighs> maybe they can dig some stuff up on something? You can revolt all you want, you're in a chat of one. Well, well, this is most unexpected. Mr. Falcon, Mr. Sparrowson. I believe this is our first time meeting without disguise or pretenses, as it were. Oh, but first things first. Mousy, would you finally, or finally, kindly fetch our guest some tea? Oh, of course, Monsieur Voy. Of course, ho. Oh. Monsieur, what kind of tea would you like? Chamomile? Darjeeling, perhaps? Uh, I like chamomile. Chamomile sounds good to me. Thanks, Mousy. Sure, I could go for some chamomile, too. Uh, okay, one pot of chamomile coming right up. And off he wanders. How is he going to carry that in? He's a mouse. The physics here leave much to be desired. Let's get down to business. What is it that you two came here for? We have a couple questions. 
Uh, God damn it. Um, yeah. Have you heard of the Vault uh, Uprising? Of course. These days, a man can't walk into a tavern without hearing anger men whispering about violence and revolt. I dare say that Paris may find itself in the midst of yet another revolution before the end of winter. What can you tell us about the dissidents, specifically? Do you know where they're meeting? I'm afraid I only know what you can read in the papers, monsieur. I know anti-government protesters were meeting out in the open until the government clamped down on large public banquets. With the banquets gone, who knows where the dissenters went. See, perhaps I can assist you with something else. Wow, me trying to actually be smart in research is garbage. I should have just gone somewhere random. Have you ever heard of a person called the Croque Monsieur? And no, we aren't talking about the sandwich, unfortunately. The Croque Monsieur? Are you referring to the black market salesman? The man who claims to be able to procure anything, no matter how illegal? 20 francs in the chocolate shop? Yeah. Yeah, that sounds exactly like the person we're looking for. Do you know him? Me personally? No, monsieur, but I just know of his vile reputation. I see. Then do you have any idea how we can find him? Hmm. Meeting the crook monsieur face to face is not easy. The man doesn't make himself known to just anybody after all. I know. I'll do a little investigative work of my own. Come back in three days and I'll tell you where I can find him. Three days. That's an enormous help. Thank you much, Monsieur Volpe. Of course, there is a price. Price? Just a small fee, a mere 30 francs. Hey, you saved your day out of the Prince Juan business. Does anyway, show your gratitude? Monsieur Volpe, you must understand that this is no personal errand. We are investigating on behalf of king and country. I'm sure your intentions are noble, Monsieur Falcon, but I am running a business here. A fox has to eat. 30 francs? I guarantee I will find you the crook, monsieur. That's my final offer. What do you say? It seems like a cop-out. Not how I expected this to go. I worry that something will happen before then. Eh, maybe. I don't know. I don't feel like, yeah. This this is like easy mode. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to pay you thirty bucks to do the the hustle. We're like halfway there. What I want is to talk to someone about that stupid Bible verse. Why is that so difficult? Forget it. Uh, thirty francs. Uh, such a little work is extortion. I'm not paying that. My price is high because my services are exquisite. I have absolute confidence that I can find him. Are you sure you don't want to reconsider? I'm sure. Pity. Well. Feel free to return if you change your mind. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? This right off. That's you, that's you, monsieur. We didn't get our tea. <laughs> the tea is ready, Mr. Bobby. It's ready. Uh -huh. I'm afraid you're too slow, Mousy. Oh, father. Cool. So I've wasted three days trying to research stuff in a responsible manner. No, let's go to the Chocolate Emporium. Yeah, let's do the Chocolate Emporium. Why not? Welcome, welcome. Uh, it's you two again. You remember us? I guess that's no surprise. It was only a week ago. Of course I remember. You are the messieurs who ask me any questions and buy a little chocolate. I'm afraid we have more questions to say, Monsieur Hagelstock. Thanks for being patient with us. You sell a lot of chocolate to people. Have you come across any unsavory characters in your uh, occupation? Oh, of course. One time I was hiking through the mountains of the Netherlands, and I was accosted by Overzell's tulip salesman. I threw a fistful of Dutch rubles at him and made a hasty retreat. I can't help but wonder about the legitimacy of Leonard's stories. But for some reason, his tangential rants don't bother me. Let me be more... Oh, let me be more specific. We're looking for a person called the Kirk Monsieur. Does that name sound familiar? No, sir. God. What about the rebellion? Well, monsieur, there are always rumors of rebellion in Paris. The citizens whisper in the shadows. The bourgeoisie cower in fear. Yes, yes, but have you personally heard anything specific? No, monsieur.
Blah, blah, blah. I'm just... You know, yeah. Give me a chocolate recommendation. May I have, may I have a recommendation? Good me. The friend Falcon. Is this gift from me? Certainly, monsieur. If you're looking for something romantic, then perhaps an elegant hardship selection from Tuscany, would you? Romantic, you say? Uh, I don't feel about that. Way about you, Falcon? Huh? How can I decline such a scrumptious gift? No, that wouldn't work. Do you have anything that would be suitable for any occasion? Ah, oh, perhaps you want this box of 20 creamy chocolate swirls from London. It's a very sweet. Nobody can resist. Hmm. Yes, that's a perfect diggum, Falcon. Diggum, 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 Five francs. Perhaps a little steep for some, but I assure you that their quality more than justifies the price tag. You know what? Yeah, sure. I'll buy the stupid chocolates. Uh, may I have them wrapped? Certainly, monsieur. One moment, if you please. Falcon. What? I just wanted to say you've been a great friend and inspirational mentor. I have ample amounts of respect for you as a person, and you... You do know these chocolates are not for you, right? Oh. Yeah. Well, I don't do that. Ah, uh, are my frames ripping again? What? Hmm. Doesn't look like I have ripped a bunch of frames. Some fat frames. Breaking my heart. Ah, uh, here you are, monsieur. I'm the sure recipient will enjoy them. Box of chocolates. Thank you very much. Ah, it's been my pleasure, monsieur. I am not enjoying this. This aimless wandering BS that I'm doing right now. I'm not stoked about it. You know what? Let's go to the prison. Maybe we can talk to the guard. I had a thought, if we want to find criminals, then we should probably talk to the person who deals with them every day. Ah, I get it, you're looking for Gorg, the pesky uh, jailer. He's nowhere to be found. Where is he? Could be his day off, maybe we should come back another time. Cool, another wasted day. Screw it. Let's go to the bridge and get the goddamn fishing line. Let's just deal with the dude's debt. Well, well, well. If it isn't the rude lawyers. You know, you owe me, big guy. I... I owe you? Yeah. My fishing line snapped when I dragged you out of the water the other day. I had to buy a new reel. The way I see it, you owe me two francs for the fishing line, one million francs for saving your life. I don't have a million and two francs. Really? But you look so bourgeoisie. Alright, I tell you what. Two francs for the line will cut even. Fine. Whatever. Sure. What are we at now? Seven ten. Great. Here's two francs. Considered a gift of gratitude for saving my life. Much thanks, but sure. Now, why are you here? Hey, do seem to be dropping a couple of frames. That's weird. Hmm. Don't know why. I bet some stuff. I don't know. Try that. Mm. All right, we have some questions. Have you heard of this dude again? It's weird because I'm only showing a couple of drop frames, but mm. have you heard of the man called the Croc Monsieur? A man called the Croc Monsieur? No, doesn't ring any bells. That's a strange name, though. Did the man name himself after the sandwich? Or was the sandwich named after him? I have absolutely no idea. I can only aspire to have a sandwich named after me one day. Asparison. Six slices of white bread, mayonnaise, cheese, chicken, bacon, slices of sausage, honey glazed ham. Pop, you'll give us all heart attack. This, this whole arc feels so different from the other two. Like, drastically different. So, uh, caught anything good? Hey, not a kipper. The new fishing line is really good, but I've run out of good bait. 
So it's practically useless by itself. Got an issue. Hey, Falcon. You think a fishing line would work as high grade string with your trove wanted? Yeah. Considering he literally said, you know, something like fishing line. Hey, Monsieur Kinley, since you aren't catching anything, would it be possible to take that new fishing line off your hands? Sure, what's it worth? Didn't we already go over the fishing line payment business? Yeah, but that was compensated for the old fishing line. If you want to buy a new line, that's a whole separate matter. Also, I saved your life, remember? And I was polite enough not to rub that fact in your face much. Fine, how much is that? Oh my god. It cost one, but I had a little markup. That's obscene. Huh, I guess a bit. I'll tell you what, if you can provide me with some killer bait, I'll give you the line for free. Killer bait, like, what, worms? Sure, worms, sweets, whatever. Hey, sweets, look at that. Uh, I did things out of order. Uh, do you have some bait or do you just want to pay me cash? I have bait. I think I have some bait you can use, monsieur. Take the stupid box of goddamn chocolates. So instead of paying ten, I paid five. Uh, would this work as bait? Are these fancy chocolates? Wow! Yeah, these would definitely work. Okay, so I'll just take these chocolates off your hands. And I'll give you my fishing line. And the deal is made! Wait, hold, uh, wait, hold on, now that I have a fishing line, babe, but no fish line. I didn't think this deal through. Oh well. Can I be something else? No. I just got bought discounted fishing line. Uh, hello, luxury tent. Yeah, I just made that one Irish. Some real gifts of the magi shit. Yeah, yeah. Um. Uh, I guess let's go to the Louvre and see if we can steal a copper pot, assuming that's where it is, and not in some other stupid place like that cat person's house. Uh. That? Uh. uh. Hey. Hey! Hey! Hold up. Yeah, I can also buy one from the market for sure, yeah. Like, the market seems like the easy way. Much in, like, getting the stuff for the that, that seems like the easy way. But in order to do that, we need more money. I'm trying to do the option that requires less money. Um, I'm just going to make all the wolves sound like that weird New York accent I keep doing. Because I'm pretty sure it's the same character. You don't see anything unusual here? You don't see the elephant from the chocolate shop? Excuse me, madam. You have a moment to talk about the cult of reason? Oh, I don't remember her name or her voice at all. Uh, screw it. Head on your pyramid scheme somewhere else, bud. I've got a kid to feed. Um, madam, it's not a pyramid scheme. Mad madam, take it. Take a leaflet at least. Well, oh, okay. What about you, Monsieur? Would you like to learn about the glorious teachings of Jacques Hubert? Ha! A cult, is it? Not today, monsieur. I've already been my share of cults. Excuse me? What? What? That's the opposite of how she should have sounded? I don't care. Bit, but listen, bit characters get bit voices. I don't even... <laughs> I'm not gonna try and remember. But this cult is different. <laughs> remember the cult of reason, huh? Strange. I thought the cult died out way back in the old revolution. Hey, Falcon, uh, that person. He looks like a run of the mill cultist. I can see that, but doesn't his face look familiar to you? Sparrowson, you're starting to sound a little racist. Just a little bit, but. Uh, very familiar, yeah. He does look familiar. Actually, the resemblance is uncanny. Shall we get his attention? Uh oh, he spotted us. Blink, blink. <laughs> Wait, was he like a quick word? He just hoofed it? 
Come back! Teach us about the wonders of the cult of reason! He's gone. So I'm not going crazy, right? That guy was the spitting image of Judge Romulus, wasn't he? I can't deny the similarity. Then again, there are plenty of wolves in Paris. Maybe there's no lick at all. Uh, again, with the weird racist thing. They don't all have to look the same. You don't have to say, like, well, these two wolves that we've run into, who happen to be brothers, look the same. But this third one, I don't know, he's just a wolf, you know. You know how wolves are. Either way, we have an investigation to conduct, so let's that. Right. Where to first? Uh, I believe the t or the Grant, yeah, the t one of these two. Oh, Jesus, Pokemon Freak more Gauntless, that's not... All right. This is the room we investigated in the Poison Rose case, right? Yeah, the thing that happened, I guess, now, like, two weeks ago. Yeah. Can't even feel like I saw something here a weeks ago. Something that may be of use to us. Oh. Whoops. Really? All right, then. Let's take a look around. This person's just talking to himself now. Copper pot. This urn is made of copper. I remember it. It's the one that smelled of chocolate. Yes, but more importantly, it's made of copper. Why is that important? Oh, my freaking honking. Oh, oh, I see. You're thinking of a suit Ruby's request. He wanted a copper pot, didn't he? This would do nicely. But, uh, this is a museum piece. You can just take it. Could we? Couldn't we? I don't know. Could we? I mean, we could. <laughs> Screw it. I don't know. I'm, I'm just leaning full chaotic into this one. I have no idea what's happening with the end of this game anymore. Falcon is just absolutely done with the, this shit. That's, that's how I'm playing Falcon right now. I'm surprised he's not half drunk. I mean, maybe he is, but I didn't make those choices. This is my lifelong dream. Marvelous. Put this urn under your coat. Excuse me. That's not going to fit under my coat. You're already weirdly shaped. No one will see anything out of the ordinary. Hey. Has been sneakily added to your evidence folder. What else shall we steal? Nothing. We're hoofing it. How about a, just a small one? Uh, that no one will care like the Mona Lisa. Let's, let's steal the Mona Lisa. Uh, no. Uh, no, we're done examining stuff. I, I clicked an X, you jerks. We're done here. We can't spend all day robbing Roman artifacts, I suppose, so where to next? Uh, I mean, I want to leave. How do I leave? Probably here, right? Yeah, okay. Are we all done? Yep. That's mosey. Good call, we're gonna come back later if we've forgotten something. Sure. Yep. Uh, yeah. So, oh. An event. Ah, this is uh, that one character I saw. Because I have their card and don't know who they are yet. <sighs> is this room to your liking, mademoiselle? Uh, Omort. That's a name. Got like a sneak tattoo? That ass. I feel like I have to really try with this voice. Hold on a second. Don't call me that. Ah, my apologies, madam. But what are your thoughts? Is the room suitable? It's dark, cramped, 
I'm more than a little macabre, but it will do. Excellent. I've hired a private security guard to guard the entrance 24 hours a day. Rest assured, your weapons are safe. Okay, cool. Kind of figured. Tell me, Friar. Are we doing the right thing? Of course we are, madam. They cannot change they cannot be changed without bloodshed. No revolution without re uh, revolution. Okay, that's not something a man of God should be saying. Surely you aren't having second thoughts. Of course not. I want nothing more than to serve justice to the corrupted rulers of this country. When the time comes, I'll be the one to pull the trigger. Ooh. I mean, I guess let's go get the stupid doctor thing done. Oh, what was this guy's voice? Oh god, what was this guy's voice? Oh, was it this kind of voice? I think it was. You come in. Ah, it's you two. Have you managed to gather the materials I need? Uh, yes, monsieur. The string and the copper rod. Exactly as described, here you go. But, what is this? Where, where did you get this pot? It looks like it belongs in a museum or something. Shut up, you're not Indiana Jones. You don't know. It was a little tricky to procure the necessary items, but with a bit of asking around, we managed to find suitable substitutes. There's a general store down the street that sells string and discontinued copper pots and the like. Assume you would have gone shopping there. No matter, no matter. Give me one minute and I'll finish assembling the, the device. The hell is that? <laughs> Ta-da! May I proudly present to you Gustav Trust Magnificent Explorer Extractor Surgical Device. I hated every word of that sentence. Uh, trademark implant pending. It looks like a pair of kitchen tongs hooked up into a stewing pot. Agreed, I wasn't expecting something so low tech and uh, bad. Perhaps a demonstration is order. One moment, if you please. A demonstration upon whom? Uh, Falcon. I think it looks like junk. The whole fetch quest has been a waste of our time. Even he's calling it a fetch quest. Game? I suspected the man was delusional from the very start. It would explain why he was being treated by a mental health professional. Nothing to be done, though. Unless it's humor Gustav until we get an opportunity to leave and cut our losses. Oh, my medical debt. Time for a demonstration. Get ready to have your stockings blown up, messieurs. Ahem. So here we have one piece of regular meat. Imagine, if you will, that this is a soldier. Uh, okay. The meat is a soldier. Oddly, yes. An oddly shaped and potentially tasty soldier. And here we have a small piece of iron. Imagine, if you will, that this is a musket ball. I mean, that's an actual just straight up and down serrated bullet, my dude. That's significantly worse, or better, depends on your look, uh, than a musket ball. So, a soldier's running through the battlefield, not a care in the world, when a sudden BAM! And the person has been shot, the musket ball has been embedded in the man's flesh. I'm scared, Falcon, you that metal to meat like a madman. Uh, quick, monsieur, you're a battlefield medic, and the soldier is wounded, and you have precious little time. What do you do? Uh, battlefield surgery? I'm no surgeon, but I think the most doctor would feel around for the musket ball fragments and then carefully use a scalpel. How okay, how slow, how imprecise. Yeah, I hear you wondering. Monsieur Trove, surely there must be a better way. I wasn't. Well, wonder no more. Behold, the Explorer Extractor watches I power up the device. That's a disconcerting sound. And then as I move the detector component over the meat... Is it humming? It is, monsieur. When the electromagnetic component of the Explorer Extractor detects a piece of iron, the device vibrates and emits a soft hum. I'm... Okay, cool. I'm actually impressed, monsieur. 
A device I can detect metal beneath flesh? That's innovative! Uh, I've never heard of such a thing before. Yeah, but why would limited to battlefield surgery? Yeah, okay. You could repurpose this thing as some sort of treasure hunting device. It would make you really rich. Uh, hold your horses, Mrs. Hold your horses. I'm not done yet. You've only seen half of the device capabilities, the exploration part. Now witness the second part. Extraction. Did that thing just... Uh, yep. Suck the ball, or suck the ball out, know, like a pip from a grapefruit. Behold, the original piece of iron removes swiftly and precisely from the flesh. If it used a magnet to pull that out, that is so not going to be precise. So, what do you think? Uh, pretty revolutionary, huh? I think that meat looks a lot less appetizing than before. It's practically exploded. <laughs> I have no idea what to think. Mr. Trope, you are a strange and mildly terrifying individual, but I cannot fault the innovation of your device. We shall pass it along to Dr. Felrit and let him decide its worth. Uh, thank you, thank you. I'm sure the good doctor will approve. I'm hungry. Let's look at some steaks on the way back to the office. No. Okay. Uh, nope. Nope. There we go. All right, let's go back to the hospital. At least this isn't going to take a day. Ah, you've returned. Were you successful? Well, uh, Mr. Trove didn't have any money, but he did give us something that he claimed to be extremely valuable. Go ahead, take it. He said you could keep it. What is this? Zirtrove called an explore extractor. He said that it would revolutionize the medical field. I don't quite understand how it works, but maybe I could demonstrate it if you have a piece of meat and a lump of metal handy. Monsieur Falcon, Monsieur Sparrison, I sent you to retrieve owed money. Is that your return several days late with this uh, child's toy? Just forget it. Forget the whole task. It was foolish of me to rely on private attorneys, and it was foolish of me to assume that a crazed inventor would produce money when asked. Keep your toy. Good day, Monsieur. Uh, do I get a discount on my bill? Dr. Forrest, about that discount? Oh, he's gone. Cool. What a fun use of my time playing this game. Well, there go my year's wages. So, uh, what do we do now? I guess, yeah, we go back to the other thing that was frustrating to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, we will end up using that stupid device uh, in some cockamamie trial. Where the hell do we go next? Uh, I don't know why we have to go to Louvre, so we're not going there. We could try going back to the prison. Uh, I don't know. Why can we even go to this house? Why is this an option? I literally have no idea what to do next. All of these seem like stupid options. I don't know, let's see if Quark's there. Nope, still not there. Cool. I'm just skipping all that. Uh, maybe we got fired. Ah, uh, blah, 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 blah. Cool. Radical. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Let's go to uh, the, uh, the chateau because why the hell not? Ah, oh, you there. I, I remember you. You guys uh, came to help me out with this little dilemma. What is it, mademoiselle? Which country is better, uh, Great Britain or the United States of America? At this point in time? 
at this point in time, the UK. Uh, in about a hundred years, the US. In about uh, 80 years, 70 years after that, they both suck. Yeah, me and my sweaty guy looking at two buttons. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go with Great Britain. For uh, putting aside all purchases, the, the British Empire is magnificent. I expect that it will continue to prosper for years to come. Ooh. The USA is still a young nation. Anything could happen to it. You think Britain is the safer option? Hi. Oh, as it would make for a shorter trip. What is this about, Mademoiselle? Well, I'm uh, thinking of taking a trip. Uh, a long trip. Everywhere I go in Paris, people are angry and depressed. It's like violence is about to break out at, at any moment. I saved up enough. So I'm going to get out of here and follow my dream of starting a new life overseas. Over a channel, in this case. Who's going to look after Chateau Grenier? Well, uh, with the uh, Baron's, um, passing. Wait, did he die? What? He died? What? When did the lion dude. Oh, he was executed. Right. Right. That's a thing that happens. In 1848, when you're convicted of murder, right? Uh, I think the the Mao's. I think the Mao's were showing some interest in the household, but I guess they could handle the household duties themselves. Yeah, remember that thing I caused? I do. The de Mao's. Interesting. Anyway, this might be the last time we'll see each other, so uh, I'll just say uh, au revoir, Sparrison. Au revoir, Monsieur Falcon. Very well, Mademoiselle. I wish you a pleasant voyage. So long, Mademoiselle. Don't let those limeys push you around. <laughs> it's funny because I'm doing a weird, bad English accent with him, but. Uh, Falcon, I think we forgot something. Uh, what's that? Rebels, the croc monsieur, all that juicy investigation stuff. Oops. The rebels, the croc monsieur, all that juicy investigation stuff. We're supposed to be asking questions. Ah, oh, right. That completely slipped my mind. No matter. Pauline didn't seem like the type to get involved with rebels and arms dealers. She probably knew nothing. I suppose. In any case, she seems to be the only one with enough sense to escape before the violence starts. Yeah. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna pay this stupid dude to find whatever the hell it is I have to do. Mr. Falcon, Mr. Sparrowson, what can I help you two with today? Oh, I'll go fetch the tea, ha! Ah. You know what? Yeah, we're just doing this. We're not... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we've had this conversation. Screw it. There might be an alternative way forward, but nothing has presented itself, and I I feel like I did my due diligence exploring my avenues. Um, like, I tried to research it in multiple ways. We didn't go everywhere. Yeah, but the other places don't even make sense. Like, why would I go... To the courthouse. It, it makes no sense. So screw it. Here, take my 30 bucks. As promised, return three days or later. And I'll, I will tell you where the Kirk here can be found. The known revolutionary frequented there? He didn't frequent it. He was there for like one trial. Rest assured that I will undertake my end of the bargain with care and diligence. I expect nothing less. Thank you, Monsieur Volpe. He was a judge. Shh. It is my pleasure. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? No. 
And the T. Yep. Well, I can explore the other three spots while I wait for him to investigate, so... Wait, what? What? What is this? Oh, are we having a revolution now? There he is. That's the rooster shot the croc monsieur. Excuse me? <laughs> Are we? <laughs> Are we? I think we're getting close to unraveling this whole rebellion nonsense. Let's not dawdle, Sparrowson. We're nearly there. Let me deal with this letter first. Bam, what? I don't think so. It's it's from Kokoriko. Severin. Go ahead, Sparrowson. Let's hear it. Oh, of course. He's being confused. Okay. JJ, if this letter reaches you uninterrupted, that means that I've been captured or killed by the rebels. It won't be us that's on trial. Yet. What? Last evening, the inspector gave me a tip-off of a midnight trade between the rebels and Croc Monsieur on the Rue de Marset. I intend to watch from the shadows, but I know that such a mission is a dangerous one. Wish me luck. Hold on a second. Uh, wish me luck, okay. Uh, if the last correspondence you ever hear from me, then I suppose I should end on a positive note. Falcon, you're a good friend and excellent lawyer. I'm sorry for belittling you all these years. Got of guards, Severin and Cooker go. Uh, right? Is this for real? There's no way. This letter has to be some sort of setup. It's Severin's handwriting. Where do you think he is? I don't know. Why would he go alone? I don't know. Well, we have to help him, right? I mean, if that's great, was a midnight as so nice, it's 10 o'clock now, he might still be okay. Maybe. I don't know. Come on, Falcon. Pull yourself together. We've got to act fast while there's still time on the clock. Anderson, I have a bad feeling in my gut. Yeah, me too. This letter is terrifying stuff. No, you don't understand. I know that if Severn isn't already dead by now, he will be very soon. And there's nothing we can do about it. What are you talking about? You don't know that? I do. I'm certain. We've messed up. We've missed something. We've overlooked something vital. And now, Severn's fate is sealed. You're spouting defeat is nonsense. Come on, Falcon, let's go visit the Rue tomorrow, so we might find a clue. Okay. Is this game over? I don't know. I don't know how we were supposed to get here. Maybe we should have contact R&M Associates first and paid them 30 bucks and just let that happen. Come on, Spirison. Keep up. <sighs> no time for wheezing. If Crooker was last seen around here, then there has to be a clue nearby. All right. Okay, select an area to examine. Uh, I'll be right back. Hold on.
Oh, okay, I'm back. All right. I forgot I had some laundry to put in, and I forgot, so gotta do it now. Okay, select so narrative to examine. I don't know the pool of blood. <laughs> Seems like a good start. Okay. Three, five, six. There we go. There's a pool of blood here. It looks fresh. Uh, go, here he goes. I see drag marks heading towards that tunnel, which leads straight to the scene. I had to guess. Someone was killed here last night, and their body was hastily disposed of in the river. But I see several sets of bloody footprints, too. Some are faint, but they head that way towards the main road. We could still be alive. Let's see where the footprints go. Cool. One thing to investigate. Got it in one. So, to the cathedral. Yeah, the footsteps lead right to Notre Dame. Seems that way. Unbelievable. Where's a friar when you need one? Forget the friar. Let's keep following the blood trail and see where it ends up. Wait a minute, Falcon. Can we get the police involved before we go any further? That would be smart. That would be the smart thing to do. Why don't you run, find a policeman, and I'll go on ahead. Nice try, but I'm not abandoning you. We have no idea who or what could be ahead. Hey, wait up! That way it leads straight down to the catacombs. Man, I am famished. When does that mouthy parrot get a leave me a duty so I can go grab a snack? Girl keeps going. Hey, isn't that the concierge's jail keeper, uh, Quark? It's Quark, you dummies! I had no idea they were a religious man, monsieur. I'm not. I had a career change. Private security pays much better than regular jail keeping, you know. Monsieur, we don't have much time, so I'll keep it brief. We're following a trail that leads to the door behind you. We need you to let us pass. The door behind me? Heh, <laughs> you idiot. That door leads straight to the catacombs. You don't want to go there. Catacombs? Besides, just because I know how to get in, doesn't mean I'm just going to let you pass. I've got a job to do. I have integrity. I promise to act as God, and that's what I'm doing. You want a bribe, yeah. Bingo. What you got? If you tired of standing here all day all day, but I bet you would love something to eat. Oh, I don't have anything. To, I don't have anything to eat because I eat. Oh my god. Here. What the hell is this? I don't want your useless junk. <laughs> Give me something good. Can I just hit him? Can I just hit him? Yeah. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Here. Perhaps I wasn't clear. I'm short on both time and patience. Are you going to let us pass, or do I have to beat you until you are unable to stop us? Jesus! No need to get violent, big guy. You can pass. The door's right behind me. Go on. The door to the catacombs? It's that simple? Yeah, that simple. What, do you expect no hidden bookcase or something? Go on, go look. <laughs> what idiots. They're walking straight into a pitch black maze without even a torch. I wonder. Will they get lost and starve, or will they find a crazy lion girl and get shot? Either way, ain't my problem. On entering the doorway, Falcon and Sparrowson find themselves at the top of the stone staircase that spirals into the abyss below. Uh, here goes, uh, nothing. They begin the descent. A man of integrity, yeah. I knew an underground passage would be dark, but this is ridiculous. I can't even see my hand. In front of my face, you have wings. Keep putting one foot in front of the other, Sparrowson. Uh, I think that was the last step. Now it's just twisted tunnels ahead of us. I should take up smoking. If I smoked, I'd have a match right now. We'd be able to see where we're going. 
You know, all the health benefits. I'd probably be calmer. Keep it together, Spurson. I know. I'll unravel this loose thread from my jacket. We'll just trace the string to find our way back. Reach a dead end. That's... That's good thinking. Just like Theseus and the Minotaur. Hey. There aren't any Minotaurs, are there? Head of a bull? Body of a bull? Scary stuff. That mind. Looks like there's a gap in the wall here. I guess the path branches. You feel a slight breeze coming from the branch on the left. The air seems a little more stagnant to the right. Breezy path. There's a chance that the breeze could be caused by an opening, so let's head that way. Hey Falcon, I don't want to dump on you or anything. When you threaten Corp out there, it was pretty scary. Scary? Not really. Corks all talk. I knew there was no chance that you'd fight back. No, I wasn't scared of Quark. You! Not you, scary. Never seen you get so angry before. Severance life is on the line, person. Forgive me for showing a little emotion. Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Oh, looks like there's a branch. Uh, branches again. Is, are my eyes going fucking you from the darkness, or is there a glimmer of light coming from the right path? No, oh, I definitely see it too. There's definitely some light on that side. Alright, well, go that way. Who wittingly goes into the darkness? Definitely getting dark or lighter, I can see my hands again. But that might just mean we're getting closer naked, right? Yeah, well, this has been a wild goose chase. Listen. Voices. We're getting close. Did I? Whoops. Wait, Falcon, aren't you scared? Terrified. Yeah. There they are. I'll ask one more time. What is your name? Are you with the police? The Royal Guards? Speak, bird. Ma'am, uh, Omar, Omar, we've been here all night. Nope. That, that, I don't even know what the exact accent that was supposed to be. We've been here all night. He simply ain't talking. He didn't react to coaxing. He didn't react to torture. Maybe it's time to, you know, administer some justice. <laughs> justice. <laughs> That word. Oh, the rest are finally gross. You want to know who I am? Fine. My name is Saver in Coke Rico. I'm a public prosecutor for the court of C. Well, Sevi, it's been a pleasure. But we can't uh, be having spies running around our base operations here, can we? So, further ado, I hereby sentence you to. Wait a minute, Piero. This is no ordinary spy. Is he... Because he's a prosecutor? No. Is he the bastard who condemned my father ten years ago? Well, are you sure? I had my suspicion when I saw his smug air of arrogance, his holier-than-thou glare. And now that I know his name and occupation, there is no doubt. Do you remember, Bird? Do you remember the trial of the homeless lion? The winter of 1835? What was your father's name? John. John Beaumont. What were his crimes? The only crime was going to feed a starving child. He took a handful of vegetables from a grocery store. Not out of greed, but out of sheer desire to see me survive. But he was seen by a policeman. Another arrogant cockerel like yourself, actually. Ooh. My father was thrown in jail. He was dragged to court. I had the privilege of watching the proceedings from the stands. I remember your sharp words. Vegetables, that's a thing that lions eat, sure. Uh, 
This man is a thief. This man is a scoundrel. He deserves the harshest possible punishment for his crimes. You didn't care about the consequences. You didn't care about why my father did what he did. All you cared about was filling your lusts criminal behind bars. My father received a sentence of five years. He died on his third. Do you remember? Mademoiselle, in all my days as prosecutor, I have seen over thousands of cases. I'm not going to remember a single bird thief. You rotten Connard. We're all just insects to you, aren't we? Who cares if a child starves on the streets as long as you put enough criminals behind bars to meet your quota? Am I right? Your silence speaks volumes of your guilt. Severin Kokorigo, you have been tried by the people of the Second Republic. We have found you guilty on the counts of conspiracy, of the murder of the Croc Monsieur, and of the murder of my father, Jean Beaumont. Oh, I have been found guilty? Mademoiselle, if you want to shoot me so you can fulfill your revenge fantasies, then by all means, shoot me. But don't pretend for a moment that <coughs> this mob resembles a court of justice in any form. Court of justice. Now there is a contradiction. I'm 14 and this is deep. Bird, you know nothing of justice. Friar Remus, read the man his last rites. With pleasure, madam. Falcon, we have to make a move. Say something! Ooh, is that an option? This game lets you go real dark, huh? Alright, I'm going in. I'm coming too. I wonder if it would have let me. I wonder. No, I need you to get out of here. Go find the police, royal guard, anyone. I'll stall for time. Falcon. Okay, I'll go get help then. Do you have any last words? Just pull the bloody trigger and be done with it. Hold it! Wait, 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 wait. He's right. This is a terrible trial. There's no evidence, no defense, no examination of the facts. You dragged a man off the streets and decided his fate based purely on your own prejudice and whims. <laughs> what the clack does this bird bring think he is? I'm this man's defense attorney. I am J.J. Falcon. J.J., what are you doing? Defense attorney? You're a raven loony is what you are. Or a spy. I've seen this Monsieur eavesdropping on our conversations before. Cannot be trusted. Everyone, please, hear me out. Who the hell could I possibly appeal to here that would make any sense? I guess Remus? No. Um, all of these suck? I don't know. Friar Remus, you're a man of God. Surely you don't pr approve this sort of mob violence. Hm. I see no issue. The good book is full of stories of violence. Joshua ransacked the city of Jericho. Aoud and the judges were ruthless assassins. Samson killed thousands before meeting his fate. Well, sure, but that's the Old Testament. What would Jesus say about this? He would say, I did not come to bring priests, but a sword. Matthew 10.34. Oh, yeah. You see, Falcon? This man's death is inevitable. For the good of France, in the name of the justice, he must be killed. Justice. There's that word again. Adam, I won't presume to know who you are or what you stand for, but shooting this man right now would not bring you justice. It would only serve to satisfy your desire for revenge. Frame to go. Whoa, what is going on? Yeah. Wow, look at that. It's just cranking. Hold on. Okay. Uh, game, can I get a window bow for a hot second? Okay. Is this firing right now? Uh, 
Did last check for updates. But what is going on? I want to figure this out. I don't want this being a nightly occurrence. Uh, nothing's using my network. Nothing's using my CPU. What is this? I believe that's the game. I have no idea what is eating up my frames right now. And it stopped. That is so weird. Hmm. Oh, there it is. There it is. Stupid GeForce is downloading driver updates. Yeah, it's finished. This result. Justice. Revenge. What's the difference? Uh two prosa? Mm. Hmm. Isn't the fairness will not work at all. Uh Rationality seems like it might be insulting, so I don't know. Due process? Due process, madam. By following an organized chain of events, justice ensures that both sides have a fair and balanced trial. Ugh, that didn't work. My father did not receive a fair and balanced trial. This is your opportunity to show the rooster how it should be done. Oh, dang. What a twist. Madam, surely you aren't entertaining the words of the heathen. How do you know I'm a heathen? You don't know. Fine, Falcon. We'll play this your way. We shall have a formal trial for the murder of Croc Monsieur. <sighs> Excellent. Shall we head back to my office and file the necessary papers? Don't take me for a fool. You'll walk us right into a trap. We shall have this trial right here and now. Right here? In the catacombs. Go to places any? I suppose we'll be needing a judge. I'm volunteer. No thanks, Pierre. We're trying to form a courtroom, not a circus. Dang. Oh. Go see how security is doing, Piero. We don't want any more spies wandering in. Right, yo. Perhaps I can help, madam. You know I'm a pious man, after all. <laughs> okay, Remus. You can be our judge. And I will lead the prosecution. What about the jury? With all due respect, I don't trust your peers to be impartial. Look around you. As we speak, we are being watched and judged by countless dead men and women. They shall be our jury. That's a... It may work as a metaphor, but in practical terms... In practical terms, it is me you have to convince, Falcon. Convince me that this bird is not guilty. After all... I am the one who holds the gun. Well, it looks like we're ready to get started. Damn. The trial of Severin Kukriko is underway. He stands accused of murder of the man known as Croc Monsieur in cold blood. Madame Beaumont, uh, Beaumont please explain the details of what happened. <laughs> she who holds the gun makes the rules. Yeah. Very well. Last night, at the stroke of midnight, two gunshots were heard on Rue de Marmoset. Pierre alerted us. We managed to arrive before the police did. On scene, I saw the man known as the Croc Monsieur, a good friend of ours, lying in the pool of his own blood. Standing over his body, I saw the murderer, Severin Cocorico, still clutching his murder weapon. Am I to understand you did not witness the crime firsthand, madam, that you only saw the aftermath? Yes. But one of us did happen to see the incident itself. Please not heard. Uh, Ma'am Beaumont, found this here pigeon running around our tunnels. I'm no pigeon, monsieur. He's a spy in any case. Let's say I execute him right now. All right, he's with me. With you. He's my assistant. Here's my bags and stuff. Talking, I... Trust that you do not have any other assistants lurking around the corner? No, madam. 
and take your lackey out of my sight. Falcon! I saw someone lurking in the catacombs. I think he was watching us from the shadows. Was there a rebel? I don't know. But I got spooked when he saw me and he dropped this. All the reason. What is this, a pickle pamphlet? Pamphlet for the Cult of Reason. Okay, so it's the other brother? Triplet? I best begin back to Pit Charles then. Not so fast, Piero. You witnessed the crime firsthand, did you not? I did, ma'am. Then you can be our first witness. Go stand in the center. Okie dokie. Do I need to say an oath or something? That won't... That won't be necessary. We trust you. Just tell us what you saw last night, Piero. Okie dokie. It's a plain as day. The croc monsieur was just minding his own business on Rue de Marmoset. When all of a sudden, this year brute of a rooster appeared with his gun in hand. Bam! The rooster fired. The croc slumped to the floor. With the last of his strength, the croc monsieur drew his own gun. Bam! The croc fired back. So to clarify, Bukriko shot first. Yes, ma'am. No question there. What happened next? Well, I, kn I knew you guys, Fontaine, Remus, and you, ma'am, were only a stone's throw away at the cathedral, so I ran to get your help. We all arrived back and see maybe a minute after I left it. And there, I saw a dead croc monsieur and the murdered servant cookery with my own eyes. Thank you for your report. Nothing, ma'am. You see, Falcon? The arrow is not the sharpest knife in the kitchen. For that? But he is honest to a fault. I would trust his word with my own life. Don't doubt the man's honesty, madam. Nonetheless, I would like to cross-examine witness. Cross-examine? What does that mean? I don't claim to be an expert at law, but this was always my brother's role in the family. But I think cross-examination uh, means that Falcon would like to waste our time by asking pointless questions. Actually, means that I would like to make sure that Piero's story holds up under scrutiny. Yes, I will be asking questions, but only questions that directly relate to the case at hand. Clearly a pointless stalling tactic, madam. Shall we put an end to the trial? No, we will let the bird have his little cross-examination. I'm warning you, Falcon. Don't mess with me. Don't mess with you? If I get the slight sickening that you're rambling to stall for time, I will end this trial on the spot. Do I make myself clear? Start questioning Kokoriko's shoe size, the color of Croc Monsieur's underwear, and I'll lose my patience. Cool. Select a statement of question. Okay. Uh, plain as day. Uh, mind his own business. The rooster fired. Yeah, I wonder if his shoe size is actually going to be relevant. Uh, the croc summoned before using the last of his strength, the croc monsieur drew his own gun. Bam. How do we know the room? Yes, th this one seems like the most obvious place to start. You see, you saw that, when you say that monsieur croc go fired first. Yep, the bird's expression was stone cold. Was he threatened? It looked like Severin Cookery was feeling threatened prior to the shooting. What in how? Well, did Croc Monsieur have his gun drawn? Don't think so. The Croc drew his gun, but that was only after getting shot. You were trying to argue, Falcon. You think this may have been a self-defense killing? Fruitless line of uh, reasoning. Cockerel approached the crocodile. He's a crocodile! He was a crocodile. There we go. <sighs> he is responsible for the encounter. Still, okay. These guys are buddies with Croc Monsieur, so you won't be able to convince them that his murder was justified. You have to focus on the facts of the case. Find an inconsistency and prove them wrong. Okay, 
Let's try a different strategy. Do I have another question uh, about the gunshot? Yeah, what is it? Uh, actually, no. Testifying to the uh, character of my associate is not going to help. Uh, let's actually ask about the second shot. You say that correct, Monsieur drew his gun and fired back with the last of his strength. Yep, bam. Did the bullet hit? Did the bullets hit Kokuriko? No, he was uninjured at the time of capture. <laughs> well, he looks pretty injured right now. He took quite a beating. What of it? Nope. Nothing. I'm just trying to get the facts straight. Another. Uh, yeah, was there a third shot? You claim the cooker had fired his gun and then the croc monsieur had fired back. Is it possible there was a third gunshot? I wasn't counting on nothing, but uh, nah. I think I would have heard a third gunshot if there was one. D. But what if... Don't try to claim that there was a hidden sniper upon a rooftop or any similar dribble falcon. None of us have the patience for that sort of yarn spinning. You have another question. Here. And let's go plain as day. You claim you saw the incident as plain as day. Yep, plain as day. One of them's coughing. Hold on. Don't know if they're going to wake up. The crime occurred at night. Here, I'd like to remind you that the crime occurred at midnight in February on overcast, moonless night in an unlit alley. What's your point? It would have been too dark. So dark that you would possibly have correctly identified the people involved. Hey, I swear I saw what I saw. Hold on, Falcon, you slipped up. You say that the alley was unlit, but I distinctly recall there being lanterns over Rue de Marmoset. Oh, that's right, that's right. We live in La Ville Lumiere. There's a gas lamp on every street. You're right, Madame Beaumont. There are street lanterns over Rue de Marmoset, but they wouldn't have been any good. Why? I don't have evidence for this. Why are you even... <sighs> okay. Okay, yeah, skip, 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 skip. I don't have evidence for this. Okay. 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 Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna skip through all this. Okay. Okay. Can I just... I would like to quit without saving, I guess? I don't know. Oh my god, can we just... I'd rather die. Just kill us and let's... Oh, for... No, quit without saving. Continue. I don't even know where it's gonna load us from. That was stupid. That was extremely dumb. Yep. Oh my god, I can't skip. I have to hold the skip button. Alright, I'm just gonna... How fast can I get through this?
Yeah, failure is clearly an option, but that that was frustrating. It's like, fine, present evidence, and there's no way for me to not. That's stupid. That's just dumb. Don't don't let me flounder like that. If I don't have the evidence for it, just just don't. Right? That's just bad design. Is it even possible? I have no idea. But it still stuck me in a crap loop um, that I don't appreciate. I'm gonna save and quit here. So at least if I Okay, I save and quit. What are you doing? Are you serious right now? I saved and quit. Oh my god in heaven. Okay, now I'm just irritated. This has absolutely soured me. Why give me the option to save and quit? It's just frustrated me. So there's like two glaring crumbs here. It's like, why bother letting me save and quit? If all it's going to do is kick me right back to the beginning of the whole sequence. There's just no point. Second, uh, putting me into a fail state where like I have to just pick things that don't make any sense until the game decides, you've done this enough times, I'm now going to kill the dude. Like, also sucks? Gets me back to the beginning of the day. That's not a great thing. Alright, other viewer who happens to be uh, lurking. Uh, we're just redoing some stuff here. doesn't have a penalty system just let me back out of the evidence just let me like say like oh you know what no i didn't uh i didn't mean to right that would have been easy it could even punish me for backing out on it because like obviously i had like three chances and then she uh shoots the dude that could have counted as a chance and that would have been fine speak up I don't know, 
let's try appealing to Fontaine this time. I'm not reading your crap. There we go, yeah. There's no option there that would matter. Let's try rationality this time. <sighs> blah, blah, blah. Okay, so that those all lead to the same thing. Let's try the root business on Rear de Marmoset. This is the one option we didn't explore. Up here, you say the incident took place on Rear de Marmoset. Uh, both of these seem like good questions, actually. Where exactly were you standing? I don't doubt that you were there, but where exactly were you standing? Well, let's see. I came from across the river, and I turned on Rue St. Landry. Yeah, I was standing about where uh, Rue de Marmoset meet uh, Rue St. Landry, the crossroads. Pretty ordinary street from what I remember. Around a minute's walk from Notre Dame Cathedral, if I recall correctly. Hmm. Uh, okay. And what are you doing there? Just passing through. At midnight? Okay, but where were you headed? For example, did you have business at the conciergerie, or were you heading home from the cathedral? Be honest, here, I don't think that's uh, none of your business. I mean... It is. Certainly is my business. Your uh, reason for being there could be a key factor in this case. Piero was running an errand for me. What kind of errand? A work errand. Oh my god. What kind of work errand would be done at midnight? Illicit kind, I'm guessing. I think you two are overstepping your bounds. Like Piero said, this matter is none of your business. There we go. There's one. I have another question. Uh, nope. We explored all the gun shooting. We explored the rooster firing. We didn't appeal to saying that, like, Severin's not a murderer because that seemed pointless. You try this and just not get stuck into the stupid loop. Oh yeah, we didn't get to try. How's your eyesight? How's your eyesight? Right. My papers work just fine. That doesn't sound con particularly convincing. I went hunting with Piero once. No problem spotting a boar at 80 meters. Quite often he would spot game even before I did. See? My eyes are fine. Terrible hunter, though. Every time I saw a boar, he'd yell, Wow! Look at that piggy! Came back empty-handed. Me and my big mouth. Um. Okay. We're gonna say yes. We're gonna say this. I'm not gonna do the other thing. It's been too dark to see. Yeah, yeah, we did all this. Okay, cool. So, nope, never mind. Screw it. Servant's dead. Sorry, Severin. We found you guilty on the counts of conspiracy of the murder of Croc Monsieur and the murder of my father, Shabba Mom. Madam, please. Hey, it's all right. I made my peace. This is far from all right. Dying in the name of a new republic at the hands of rebels, there are worse ways to go. This is good enough for Ross Breer, right? Severin.
Tend to the body. Damn. You plan to kill us too? Why would I do that? You two have done nothing wrong. I see no reason for you to be tried, let alone executed. Mercy is admiral, madam, but I fear if we let these two go, they'll tell the police everything. It would compromise us. No, no, we promise to keep our beak shut, right, Falcon? Now, we can't trust the word of potential traitors. Madam, for the good of France, we must execute the birds right now. A man of God you are. I hate to admit it, but you have a point, Rima. This is an unpleasant situation. Ew. Okay. I know. I'm going to give you a choice. You have two options. The first is that I shoot you right here and now. That's not something either of us particularly. But if it must be done. And what's option number two? You join us. We need lawyers to help bring the New Republic to fruition. Your skills would be very much appreciated. Skills? Somebody has to draft new laws. Somebody has to file the paperwork to secure the New Republic's internationally recognized legal status. Somebody has to prosecute the officials who corrupted the country. Wouldn't that be a glorious job? You mean, prosecute the Prime Minister of the King? We can discuss specifics later. For now, I need a decision. What will it be? Nah, I'd rather die. Because I know I get interrupted. <laughs> join you! I'd love to join you. Rebel and the aviary attorneys, what a team. Person, this is serious. Let me talk. No! I know what you're about to say, and it was stupid. I'm not going to let you throw away both our lives so you can satisfy your stupid pride. I refuse to work with a monster who murdered several. You don't have to be happy with the task, just stay along. Are you two done conferring? We can't draw this out any longer. Fine. We'll work with you. Good. Then a verbal contract has been made. So, uh, what happens now? Carol and Fontaine will lead you to Lake Bernard, Julia. I will finish up here and meet you in two hours. Needless to say, they shall be keeping a close watch on you. Don't even think about running. Of course. When we're done here, Fontaine, lead the way. Yes, yes, madam. Go along, you two. You can't seriously be trusting these filthy lawyers, ma'am. They're probably plotting revenge for the dead friend at this very moment. I do trust them. At the trial, I got the impression that Falcon was trying to de-escalate the situation. Avoid violence. Such a viewpoint is naive, but exactly what we need in this revolution. But they'll betray you. They're stupid enough to even give right or to even raise one feather against me. They will regret it. I guess there are more acts, huh? <laughs> you can come out now, brother. Silvius. Ah, so there's another brother. How'd it go? Better than we ever hoped for. The Roos is dead, and Madame has tasted her first blood. Amazing. Completely worth getting shot for. Yeah, that's what I thought. The meddlesome Falcon tried to disrupt her, the execution. Falcon? Really? That tin was rich. Don't worry. He floundered and bumbled around hopelessly. Madam thinks he's of some use, but really, he's as good as dead. Marvelous. Every piece has fallen into place. A dream will be a reality in no time at all. For reason, brother. For reason. Okay, I'm gonna be honest. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna bail it now. That was far too frustrating. Far too frustrating. To the point that I actually want to check.
Let's see. Of course, both my children are waking up. Which guide? This one? Yeah. Alright. Three catacombs. Where do you get glass shards? So there is a way to do it. Oh yeah, so we absolutely hooped all of Act 3. How would you have discovered this? Oh, so actually we should had to pay him. We should have paid him from the get-go. There was no way for us to do it ourselves. That doesn't kind of suck, Pokemon Freak. That completely sucks. That honks completely. I was trying to do what the game wanted me to do, like, investigate. But actually, no. There was no point in that. I should have just gotten the guy to do the thing. That honks completely. At least I can see where the gadget would have been used. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we could have, like, find the boat and whatever the hell. But that sucks. That's so stupid. There's such a particular order of things you need to do. I wasted so many days trying to research. Do I want to redo Act 3? Kinda. I don't really want to get, like, the crappy ending. Here, let's look at other endings and uh, plot changes. Oh, apparently you can actually uh, get the cat to be guilty. So your success or failure during the trial of Servant Coco determines uh, which of the three Act 4 endings you get. Sorry? Oh, Liberty, e Egality, or uh, Fraternity. So there's three different endings on this game, depending on what you do. Guilty and not guilty for everything during the first trial, continue playing. Uh, take the counterly during the fourth act. Everything else remains the same. Person is still celebrating victory in the catacombs, so. so yeah, th uh, there is actually a way. Huh. This honks. I'm not impressed with how this plays out. Really? I'm okay with the first act, because apparently you can, you know, get the cat uh, to be guilty. Or not, which, fine, whatever. Um, but this act three requires so much... So many specific things to do. Um, and there's no direction... That's just frustrating. Because, yeah, I missed out on all the stuff that allows me to save Severn. Which I totally would have liked to have done if the game gave me any direction. So that's irritating. Wow, what a sour note to end this stream on. Uh. Okay. Yeah, I think we might replay Act 3. If they'd given us a time limit, yeah, it would have been nice. Like, I didn't know how long I had to go, because eventually I did go to the guy and be like, okay, I guess we'll just do this. Uh, but it was too late. So. 
yeah, this is really frustrating. I actually might replay Act 3 next time, just because that ending, like, all of that sucked. And I don't actually want to finish the game with that ending. I don't... It's not that I don't want the bad ending. I think I, I was screwed out of getting an ending that I would have appreciated more. Like, I'm getting this bad ending because the game lacked direction or hints or anything and I'm being punished for that. Not a fan. Not a fan. <sighs> okay, well, whatever. Uh, tomorrow we get to play a different fun game. Yeah, I'm... See, I'd be fine with a branching plot. Like, I'm, I'm fine with the concept of having the branching plot, but the mechanics that get us there, yeah, are unfortunate. Like, because I didn't know about certain things, I'm now just going to get the bad ending. Like, I knew what I had to do. I was trying to do those things the way one would investigate, but the game's just like, no, no, you were supposed to... Uh, pay th the the guy thirty bucks, and then you could do it. Like, that's not good. There should have at least been an option for me to investigate that without him, right? Like that. That should have been an option. It shouldn't have been a requirement. But now we know. So like. If I could have done all of that stuff and then the exact same thing happened before, how so? I mean, with the first trial? We missed evidence because we ran out of time. Yeah, fair enough. But in this one, oh, in Act 2, yeah. But in this one, we don't have a time frame. So I was under the impression that we'd just go do all the things and then go somewhere. I didn't know that it was just suddenly going to be like, oh, by the way, on February 7th, uh, cut. Um, like there's no, there's no drive on that. Um, why would there be time? Sure, but the, I, uh, I didn't even get any other kind of events to kind of trigger the like, oh, you know, stuff's happening. There was like two. There's one that happens on, like, the third day when uh, the one cop is asking questions about me. And there's another one that has the cat in the catacombs. Like, that's it. But that doesn't mean that things are going to happen, right? Like, there was no build-up to let me know that, like, the pressure is on for finding this stuff. So. Yeah. Yes, uh, yeah, you're right. It does mean that time passes. You're right, time passes, but time passing is irrelevant when there is no time frame. Is more my point. Like, if I don't know that I have a limited amount of time before the game's going to move on with the plot, like, I don't, like, uh, the, the, the stakes uh, aren't being presented. Right? Like, that, that's more what I mean. It's like, uh, okay, we're just investigating stuff. The cop didn't say, like, hey, we've, we, we've got to figure this out and fast because things are accelerating. We've got, like, I don't know, three weeks tops before this all goes pear-shaped. Like, any kind of thing would have been enough for me to be like, okay, my time is a precious thing and I have to be as efficient with it as I can. I don't know. Would he have? I don't think he would have. Because he wanted... He was investigating us anyways. I don't know. Regardless, uh, that whole thing honked, and I'm probably going to replay the act. Um, and hire the stupid investigator so we can actually do some crap. Because I don't like how I got to that ending. Because I just basically floundered for an entire stream not knowing what to do. Which sucks. So, anywho's.
well, yeah, I did make progress, but that's only after I eliminated all the other options that were just there to waste time. So. Yeah. Like, basically, what had to happen is we had to hire the co or the investigator, pay the 30 bucks, then do the the side quest, the fetch quest, which we can do differently, having read through here. Um, like, do the side quest, probably just buy the crap. Um, and then in three days, gone back to the guy, he would have told us where to find the cop. Uh, then listen to the guys at the bar uh, to get that book. Go talk to Friar, uh, like, Fangface so that we can get the password. And then we could, we could go there and do the thing, right? Like, I now know how to do it, and it takes, like, seven days to do all of that. But, like, all the other options are pointless and just there to waste time, but you don't know which ones, you know? Ugh. It's an open world with zero sign postage, but with a hidden timer. Don't like it. Don't like it, sir. Anyways. It would have worked the first time we asked. Yeah, but I still thought that it was possible for us to discover it ourselves. And it wasn't. That's that's the part that bugs me. Is like it read like it was an easy out. When in fact it was not, it's what you have to do. That's the part, that's what bugs me. Because I tried researching and you couldn't and just, ugh. Ugh. Ugh, I say. So anyways, tomorrow, uh, I'll be playing Savage Planet, or Journey to the Savage Planet. I can have fun with that. That has clearly defined goals and pretty aesthetics. Um... And I might have a bonus stream during the day. Yeah. Yeah, there are two separate paths that are required. Clearly defined goals. Well, yeah. It has a list of things to do. I like that. Um, I may or may not have a bonus stream during the day. We'll see. Um, that I have uh, tomorrow and Thursday off. Um just some medical stuff so yeah might get some bonus streams in we'll see uh and hey don't my free it's cool if you're not there like i said bonus streams so who knows what i'm gonna do i might just play more savage planet because i enjoy it or maybe i'll play some everspace because you know everspace uh i'm not gonna play this game again i, I need a little time off from my very journey where i replay the stupid thing Ugh. Okay. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. And I'll be back tomorrow. And yeah, that's it.